Hi guys, Ruben here. Today I wanted to talk about a wonderful product called Watercolor Medium. You can, with this product, you can convert any acrylic, in my case, the one that I use the most, the Coart Traditions. I also use a lot the, um, the Coart Media fluids and also my Americana which is uh, very underestimated by a lot of people because it's very light fast. I have a uh, painting that I did 20 years ago with Americana. They still have the same vibrant color. Haven't lost anything. This is very simple to make. Look at this watercolor that I made. Look how beautiful. And this, I made these watercolors with acrylic and traditions watercolor medium. It's very simple, very easy to do. It's very easy. Um, I'm using a couple of stamps to demonstrate using the stampendus, using this stamp. Best stamps in the world. And Versafine. The best to use when you're doing watercolor is stamp with Versafine. I have two ways to storage my colors. If it's a color I just want a little bit, I can make in uh, any palette. You can get this this uh, palette in the 99 cent store, or you probably have them already around the house. So you can use anything you want. I also like to use this little container that you can find in the Dollar Tree. Or the craft doors in Michael's or Hobby Lobby. They're very, very good to a storage paint. And together with that, I like to use these labels, which you can find anywhere. Also, even in the 99 things, 99 cent store. And I like to um, kind of use them to label them. So I know what color or what pigment I use to make the color inside here. I also use them to label kind of the top of the media fluid. So when I'm looking them down so I can pick my color really quick, just by the swatch in the top, it makes it a lot easier to find them. When I'm painting, I want a color, I want to find them right away. So I need to label them. Anyway, let's go to the point and show you how easy it is to use this. This you use equal part of the media, the medium, and the uh, acrylic paint. Let's see, let's make a color. Let's make this one. Um, it's permanent alizarin crimson, which is a color I use a lot. So I will use it in a container like that so I can constantly go and get it. I don't have to be mixing it all the time. Is to mix it is very easy. Uh, try not to use the brush to mix the color. Uh, use a, pa a palette knife because uh, like this you don't damage the bristles of it. So I like to label it right away. Uh, I'll list it in. Like this I don't I have a clue what I put in there. So um, you can mark it. Try never to overflow it, this. It just make like two thirds only. So you have room to move them around without pouring out. So I mark, I made two marks. Normally I do it by eye, but it's easier for you. If you make two marks, you can be more precise that way. More precise, okay. So, pour your medium to the first mark. Once you reach that mark, then you use the color that you want to mix with. Um, at least that in the crimson. I already shaked that one, so before you use it, always give it a good shake. And also to the acrylic paint. So now I'm going to the second mark. I 
perfect. So as you can see, I only used two thirds of it so I can have room to move it around. And definitely you want to mix it really way. Very, very good. Um, don't be lazy in this. Mix it really, really good. So it won't separate. If you let it separate, kind of won't work the same way. So make sure it's always very good. And very well mixed. Uh, you can do it also, like a little bit of the time in the palette and let it dry and you can reactivate it, but I like to use it when it's still liquid. It's a lot nicer that way. So, Like I said, it's already it's not an acrylic anymore. Now it's a watercolor paint. So you use it as you use your normal watercolor. It will react exactly the same way. I love this. I always like to make it very intense in the beginning of the petals and let them spread by themselves. This color is beautiful. The great part of it is that sometimes you have a color that you love but it's in acrylic and you wish you would have a watercolor. That color, now you can. So you don't have to go and buy a whole bunch of watercolors if you already have acrylic. Just get the medium. You can buy it in decoart.com. Go there and find all the wonderful products. You can find also the paint that I use, which is number one. So everything watercolor can do, this can do because it is watercolor. It's no longer acrylic, it's watercolor. So it will react like watercolor. And after it's dry, you can lift it just like you lift your regular watercolor. See, this one is acrylic without mixing with the medium. If you go over it, it will move because it's acrylic. This one is the same exact paint mixed with the watercolor medium. And if you go over, you can tell you can lift, you can move it, mix it with another color, highlight it, anything you need to do. So I hope this is a good tutorial for you and it helped you. Uh, please like this video and make a comment below. If you uh, do some kind of project with this and you get your media and you make your watercolors, I would like to see what you do. So leave a link in the comment. Please share with your friends so they can also see and know about this wonderful product. The stamps, you can get them in stampendous.com and they have thousands of absolute gorgeous stamps, the most beautiful stamp in the world. Go take a look, stampendous.com. So until next time, bye.